Today I'm going to talk to you about investigations 1.1 through 1.4. I'm going to show you what equipment's involved in each of the labs and how to get started with each one. For investigation 1.1, you merely need two tennis balls or racket balls. The lab instructions will have you rolling the two balls together so that they collide and observing what happens. Investigation 1.2 gives you some data to graph. You'll need graph paper, ruler, and a pencil to draw the graph. For investigation 1.3, you need some string, a rubber stopper, and a ring stand. You'll be tying the rubber stopper to the end of the string and hanging it from the ring stand so that it forms a pendulum. Investigation 1.4 asks you to build a small ramp and roll a cart down it from two positions marked with tape on them, and then repeat that process with some washers inside the cart. If you get the opportunity to get into the extension part of our fire list for Lesson 1, you'll find Investigation 1.5 and 1.6 there. I'll explain those labs now. Investigation 1.5 requires a tablet of Alka-Seltzer and a film canister. The film canister is half full of water and you'll place a quarter chip of the Alka-Seltzer into the cap of the film canister. You'll close the film canister tightly and set the, ca the canister down. Then you'll back away till you're behind your desk so that you can see what happens. Be sure to wipe up the mess when you're done. For investigation 1.6, you will need at least five different types of balls that are different from each other and the ramp that we used earlier in the labs. You'll be rolling the different balls down the ramps and seeing how far they go. You may need to go out into the hallway to do this one. You will find all of the supplies you need organized at the front of the room. Please take what you need for each activity and return it to the correct location when you're done. Have a successful lab.